Hello dear viewer, welcome back to Mechanical Erection once again and hope you are doing well. Today I am trying to make you understand what is the basics of electric motors. And in this video I will discuss what is an electric motor, its types, different components, different connection types, starting methods, motor application and finally I will give you some tips about how you can operate your motor efficiently. And so at first it comes that what is an electric motor? If someone asks you this question, you may simply say that an electric motor is an electrical machine that converts electrical energy into mechanical energy. The reverse of a motor is a generator where mechanical energy is converted to electrical energy. That means we can say that a motor is just opposite of a generator and vice versa. So now you may ask how a motor works and the answer is very simple. Most electric motors operate through the interaction between its magnetic field and winding currents to generate force which will drive it. Let's see an animation of induction motor for better understanding. And this animation is for your understanding about the principle of a generator. Now I will talk about the types of electric motors. The main types of the electric motors are DC motors and AC motors. I will mainly discuss about AC motors here today. And the AC motors are mainly synchronous type and the other one is asynchronous type which is also called induction motors. And then the induction, induction motors are mainly single phase type which is also called capacitor split motor and then three phase type. These two types motors are mainly used as induction motors in the practical field. Let's see the different components of an induction motor. At first, stator. At first, it is stator. It contains the main windings of the motor which is connected to the supply. That means in which part we are giving the electrical connection to a motor is simply a stator. And then rotor. It is the rotating part of the motor on which armature, armature is mounted and then shaft it is the main axis with which mechanical load is connected through the dry vent and then fan the fan is attached at the last end of the shaft and it is used for cooling purpose generally and then the conduit box it is also called a terminal box through which the electrical cables enter into the motor body and the connection is given and at last the bearings two bearings are set between the shaft and the casing at the drive end and the non drive end and the next the connection types of motor there are basically three types of connection of three phase induction motors at first it is star connection in which one end of each winding is connected to supply phase while the other end of each winding is joined together to form a star connection. It is done by as per the picture that is here and then it comes delta connection. In delta connection all the six ends of the three windings are supplied by incoming voltages. Delta is mainly needed for high torque applications where high starting current is needed for the motors in their application and it is done by shorting the two uh, terminals consequently with the supply voltage. And the final is start delta connection. Uh, a practical picture is attached here to make you understand clearly in the practical field how motors are connected with the electricity supply and here all the six terminals of the motor is connected individually to the three phase. One is from the main contactor of the motor starter and one from the 
delta contractor of the motor start. And now I am discussing about the starting methods of electric motor. Actually, there are different starting methods for the electric motors, but I will discuss a few here. And at first, it comes uh, direct online, where, which is mostly more common in the practical field to start the motors. And this is uh, uh, for either start or delta connection in the motor terminal, where the motor is connected through the incoming circuit breaker and then the magnetic contactor and then the overload relay through the push button which uh, indicates the start and stop status of your motor and start delta connection it is done to start a large motor where the uh, starting current is too much high in such situations the motor is started in star connection and then it is given to the delta connection for full load running operation and it is done by this way at first the motor is started through the star contactor and then it is switched after a certain uh, period uh, through a timer to the delta connection and the motor finally runs in the delta connection for its long run period and the final starting method is auto transformer starting method and in this method a auto transformer is used to reduce the start starting current while during running the auto transformer is cut and full current is fed to the winding and from this diagram we can see that a auto transformer is connected while the motor is being started and while the motor is being run the auto transformer is cut from the circuit and the full current and voltage is applied to the motor terminals from the supply of the motor. And uh, now, now we are talking about the applications of the electric motors. You just can't imagine the uses of an electric motor. It is used everywhere for every application. You just can't uh, do a, even a single work without an electric motor in this world. The application of electrical motors can be discussed by the following steps. At first, the uses of synchronous motor I will describe and um, it is mainly used in industrial constant speed applications. Secondly, it is uh, used for power factor improvement as synchronous condenser, condensers and uh, it is also used in high precision positioning devices like modern robots, continuous rolling mills, paper mills, cement mills, etc. And then induction motors are mainly used in water pumps, tube oils, lathes, drills, grinders, fans, blowers, compressors, etc. And finally, the DC motors. The DC motors are mainly used for heavy duty applications like locomotives, steel rolling mills, lifts and cranes, lathe machines, vacuum cleaners, etc. My friend, maybe you know a lot about motors, but you may also face some difficulties at the practical field when operating an electric motor. You will be astonished that these problems may be eliminated very easily if you know and apply some techniques. And the techniques are at first properly lubricate your motor's moving parts because continuous motor operation without proper lubrication may badly damage your motor and your process also. Then keep your motor couplings properly aligned and tight to avoid unnecessary vibrations as well as damage of bearings of the motor. Properly align tension bearings while installing the motor. Then keep the bearings clean and lubricated because these small parts will ensure your smooth motor operation if it is kept healthy always. And finally, check proper supply of the voltage. Otherwise, your motor may burn out and cost you a lot for its recovery. And friends, at last, thanks for watching. I don't know how much you will be benefited from this video, but I have tried my best here. If you have any question, just leave a comment in the comment section. Your like and share is highly expected. And obviously, don't forget to subscribe to get updates of new videos. So, viewers, bye-bye for today.
from mechanical erection. See you in the next video.